Um, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to my monthly webinar. My name is Kevin Grundy. Okay, today we're going to talk about the STAR Natural Range, or STAR, S-T-A, Natural Range. Um, here in New Zealand, we only have a few of the range. We have the HOPE, the STAR Restored, the STAR Acne, and the TMR. But today I thought we will add Eat Less, because I really, really, really have my fingers crossed. It's in this container that's just arrived. Okay, so um, I'm hoping that it's part of that container. I can't see any reason it can't come into New Zealand. I've looked at the ingredients. There's no reason it can't. Um, I'm going to start bringing them in myself from America uh, until they are here in New Zealand. It's a very good product, as we will learn further in our talk. And of course, we've got the TMR. Uh, and there's quite a few other great um, products under the Star Natural range. And um, I'm hoping the company will look at bringing more of them in. I really do love the Star Natural range. It's right up our alley, as one may say. Um, because these are herbs. There's no fillers, there's no artificial stuff, just pure herbs. And um, yeah, I, it just, just, just resonates so well <clears throat> with what we do as medical herbalists, of course, and it just fits so nicely into the 90 for life. Because 90 for life, of course, is about a maintenance system, keeping yourself healthy. But what if you've got something really, really wrong with you and you need something a bit harder. As you know, you would come and visit Sally or I um, because we're medical herbalists and we have an arsenal of herbs that will deal with, yes, even the coronavirus. And so, um, you know, it's, uh, herbs are just a wonderful, wonderful uh, medicine that Mother Nature has given us. So let's talk more about it, hope. Hope is a brilliant product. This is my first experience with the Star Natural range. When I first come across Hope, I go, wow, such a long time waiting to have a, a product that is really good for your liver and just gets that, that whole process working properly. And as we go through the herbs, you'll see why, what makes this a great, great product. And so this gets my endorsement. Everybody should have this. If you don't like the liquid, um, the good herbs, um, gallbladder and liver, um, then this is by far, I would have to say a better option, although I really do prefer my liquid herbs. They, they just get into the bloodstream so fast. But what they've chosen here for herbs is a very good array of herbs. So hope is synergistically formulated to cleanse and purify the blood while helping boost the immune system. This, pow this product is a powerful blood purifier and a gift from Mother Nature, and that too right that is. Helps relieve gastric intestinal irritations and many other urinary problems. Helps carry oxygen throughout the bloodstream, okay? So we, we must, the blood's gotta get through the system to be cleaned, and because that's of course as we fight daily diseases. And of course, has an, a, a good way of, of um, ingredients of which I'll, I'll pick out the, the main ones which really resonate well with me which is it's, it's the stars of those these products um, and first one of course sheep sorrel um, sheep sorrel herb um, you see it in your garden and we have a New Zealand version of it here which isn't quite as good but sheep sorrel was one of the uh, um, key herbs in um, our the Isiac tea that cancer fighting tea so sheep sorrel has been known to prevent and spread the spread of contagious diseases. There you go, that, that's a bit of a talk, I could ask. Can be effective in the fight against cancer. Like I said, it was used in um, the Isiac tea, uh, which came out about 100 years ago, maybe less. Um, it can be a good remedy for stomach hemorrhages and uh, profuse, profuse menstruation. menstruation. Um, of course, it's because it's working with the liver all the time. It's working with the liver. And if you've heard many of my other talks, um, the, the liver is part of that digestion um, um, process, which we've got to get right from the beginning, you know. So we're working really hard with this liver. It also contains a high amount of your vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K, P, 
and some ones you probably haven't even heard of, yes? And yes, there is a vitamin U. Now, try practicing this, uh, this word, but <clears throat> nah, I just can't get my tongue around it flowingly. So it's like a, a, a methyl methylene chloride. That's probably the best I've done so far. Okay, so that's vitamin U. <clears throat> who, who would have thought? It also uh, contains, um, a, again, another tongue twister. I've got a few tongue twisters in my talk today. Is it, you say, Sally? Chlorophyll. chlorophyll. There you go. So it also contains chlorophyll that carries oxygen throughout the bloodstream. It's got another herb called um, burdock. Burdock is one of the um, blood purifying herbs. It helps, break, uh, helps the liver break down um, excessive hormones. And uh, it also works on many other aspects of the liver. Okay, well, the burdock is, it also decreases uh, inflammation and it helps uh, uh, clear um, persistent acne. So because it's working on that blood level and the liver level, it really helps clear up that acne. And then we have noni fruit in it. Um, so noni helps with uh, the, the lumbago, uh, asthma and um, dysentery. It also helps regulate uh, menstrual flow and eases urinary problems. It can help with skin wounds, abscesses, gum, and sore uh, throat problems, respiratory ailments, constipation, fever, and stomach pain. Uh, so there's a lot of research done on Noni. We, we use Noni in, in a few of our products. We used to have a, a, a product called Noni Juice. Uh, I'm not quite sure if we still have it out of America. Um, but yes, I know Karen used to, to rave about it. Um, it was a very uh, acquired flavor, I found. Slippery elm. You've, you've heard me talk about slippery elm on numerous talks. Uh, it is a very great herb for um, really easing the, the, the stomach, the digestion. Uh, it helps that, those irritations in that body tissue. So if you, if you remember back to some of my talks, I talk about um, sometimes your, your tummy or intestines get some inflamed, the, 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 the lining. And so the slippery elm helps put a protection on that lining. It helps encourage the mucus because we have a mucous membrane. And this mucus protects the acid in our stomach from the, the tissue so it doesn't uh, get damaged. Um, it's got a natural anti-inflammatory, so it's going to help ease any irritations going on. Slippery elm is just a wonderful thing. It's good for the respiratory system. Helps alleviate, as I said, gastrointestinal irritation and many urinary problems. Um, it comes as a powder if you want to take it on its own. We incorporate it in many of our digestion protocols um, just to help um, give that digestion and the tissue a boost. Then we move on to a product called Star Restore. Star Restore is, again, another great one for rebuilding, I suppose, the muscles and joints uh, in, our, in our body. So Star Restore is uniquely formulated with a powerful ingredients that help support joint function. There you go. Star Restore is a natural alternative to fight uh, in the fight against joint pain. Remember, pain is always the biggest thing when it comes to uh, any ailments with the musculoskeletal, uh, whether it's joint pain, muscle pain, ligament pain. You know. So the thing we always reach out for is, is some form of painkiller. And unfortunately, too many people reach out for uh, um, anti-flam or some of the, um, the real nasty um, pain, um, painkillers that the doctor's given you. But when Mother Nature's given us uh, quite a few we can use, and remember, pain is inflammation, so going back to that cause helps remove it anyway. Uh, helps the joint pain associated with arthritis, back pain, knee pain, carpal tunnel, those bursary um, problems you have, shoulder pains, and uh, um, fibromyalgia. Okay, so a lot of these things are associated with arthritis. Um, and even though we've called it back pain, knee pain, and carpal tunnel, we all know they're a form of arthritis. So by helping to treat arthritis, and this is a great product, then we start ticking off all of those hard tissue problems. Remember, arthritis comes under the hard tissue. And so you'd incorporate this product if you were having part of our hard tissue pack, which is the, the bone and joint pack, of course. It also has uh, shark cartilage. Shark cartilage has been known to help uh, boost the immune system. Also, it's an anti-inflammatory, and so it helps reduce, reduce pain. 
white willow bark also is a great anti-inflammatory, uh, so it helps relieve park. Uh, willow bark, of course, is, um, oh, correct me if I'm right, Sally, is our aspirin. That's correct, yes, in my background. So this is where aspirin comes from. So if you were to uh, come to our clinic and we needed to give you a painkiller, we'll give you an aspirin, yeah, but we'll give you the real thing called willow bark. So the real herb, none of the stuff which has willow bark and then all these other artificial fillers so they can make a formula, they can call it their own, i.e. aspirin. It's got collagen, this comes from a bovine. Um, so this we know helps strengthen ligaments, tendons, bones and cartilage. Um, it's, it's the building block. Have you heard me talk about the hard tissue before? We talk about we need to add concrete cement and and some of the um, reinforcing foundation, like we'd see in a, in, a, in a building foundation, we have to do ourselves. And so collagen is one of those components uh, that come together uh, with the gelatine and with some of the other uh, nutrients and build that tissue, that hard tissue, that, that, that cartilage, you know, the worn cartilage, that's what we get it from. NSM. Uh, helps reduce uh, the inflammation uh, and the pain by promoting healthy muscles and flexible joints. Uh, sea cucumber, um, so it's rich in iodine. It's a great anti antioxidant and it has an antibiotic action. Uh, it's a natural source of chondroitin and glucosamine, uh, which is great for those people who are looking for uh, um, that extra support. We know with glucosamine sulfate, um, it is the knitting needles. It helps knit things back together. So it's an important uh, part of the formula. Another great herb, feverfew, uh, helps um, eliminate those uh, migraine headaches. And it also has an anti-spasmodic. Uh, anti-spasmodic means um, um, muscle jerking, muscle pain. It helps relax muscles. Um, Boswellia has a cooling effect and a soothing effect on the muscles, so it creates a great um, anti-inflammatory. Uh, another one of my great favourite herb, herbs, everybody should have this part of the everyday uh, drink, is ginger. Ginger root. It's got a cleansing effect on the kidneys and bowel. How? Because it promotes circulation. You'll know when you drink a, a really good quality ginger drink, you might get a warm flush. It's a bit like how our vitamin um, B3, niacin works, because it just helps, helps move things, helps open things and creates flow. And it helps remove excessive toxins from the body. How's it doing that? Because it's creating circulation and circulation is what's required to help move those toxins through the lymphatic system out through our waste. And it stimulates the circulation, of course. So here we are with star acne free. So star acne free, again, is working on that liver. Notice there's a common thread for some of a lot of the components I use, but we work on the liver, why? Because that's the first portal that helps us, makes us healthy. Okay, so this is a great product. Any, anybody, especially those teenagers, those teenagers where they've got the outbreak on their face and on their body, this is brilliant. And just a tip for the, um, for the pimples on the face, <clears throat> one of the reasons or the biggest reasons we see a lot of pimples on a face is when we see a breakout, it starts small, but we touch. We're constantly touching our face. And when we constantly touch our face, we spread bacteria and we spread um, the acne around our face. So if you're able to tie the hands of your teenager behind their back, that becomes useful in so many ways. Okay, but that stops them from touching their hands. But that's what you've got to do. Stop touching your face and it won't spread. Same with anywhere on your body. So that's fighting the outside. Okay, this works from the inside. <clears throat> so let's just go through it. So Star Acne Free supports healthy skin. How? It helps eliminate spots, pimples, and redness. Especially formulated for teenagers and adults suffering from mild to moderate acne. Clears existing skin fast from the outside, inside out. Let me get it wrong. Okay, because remember, we're working with our liver, we're working with the digestion, we're promoting acids, we're promoting things, and we're making things work properly. 
So it's uniquely formulated, which uh, uses natural ingredients, vitamins and minerals uh, that benefits and helps promote wellness for all skin types. How? It has uh, Oregon grape um, used uh, internally for skin disease, especially for dry uh, eczema, um, gallbladder complaints, um, hepatitis, gastro problems, diarrhea. It's just a really good bladder um, control herb. Wolfberry, wolfberry fruit is what we use here. It's got a lot of phytochemicals. So it's, um, we use this as part of the antioxidant. And we know the importance of antioxidants with the liver, um, extremely important. Uh, and again, it's just one of those really good fruits um, that help um, with all the processes in the body. And of course we have yellow dock. So yellow dock is a great herb used medicinally, it's heavily used in the herbal, uh, medical herbal industry internally for chronic skin, conditioned, skin conditions, jaundice, constipation, um, especially when you've had an eruption on those skins, so you have pimples popped or boils come out, uh, liver diarrhea, anemia. So again, it uh, works heavily on the liver, <coughs> supporting the liver, feeding the liver, getting things moving. Uh, slippery elm bark, again, we talked about this before, um, a great herb for the digestion, helps put a lining on the, on the tissue and encourages healing of the intestinal tissue. Uh, again, a good respiratory herb. Um, <clears throat> and again, helps with the urinary problems. <clears throat> B, vitamin B2 uh, is a great, um, again, part of the 90 for life where it helps repair tissue, damaged tissue in the skin. It has an antibiotic, uh, antibodies effect and it helps form <clears throat> formations of red blood cells. And then we have vitamin A. So vitamin A helps promote growth. So growth in the body, that's, that's like a cell development. It works with vision, so it helps improve vision. Uh, helps with healthy um, tissue, especially hair and skin. And it helps us become more resistant to infections. So vitamin A, that's why you see it so often in, in our products. And it's generally a pretty high dose as well. And then we're going to talk about this Eat Less. It's a great product. Um, quite a few people have talked about it. Somebody asked me to do some homework on it, and I did, and I fell in love with this product. Uh, another great product we have is called Body Trim. That's a drink. But the problem with a lot of the longevity products, even though drinks are the best way, you know, liquids are the best way to get it into your body, you can only drink so much of it. And so having an alternative um, product like the BT and uh, the, the body trim in a tablet form is brilliant, especially for those ones who don't like so much fluid or don't like the flavor of the uh, body trim. Um, yeah, so let's just go through this one. Um, so uh, eat less helps support appetites, which aids in weight loss, of course, removes toxins and parasites uh, from one system, which one's works, you know, it's where your acne comes from when you've got a lot of toxins in your blood. So it helps purify that blood and it helps with the um, um, sugar levels and cholesterol as well. Uh, an essential weapon in your arsenal of products for um, the, the proper cleansing. Again, you know, trying to keep that system clean. Suppresses your appetite naturally without com uh, the common side effects, such as the dizziness and the nervousness. Um, some people lose weight can get quite anxious um, because their nervous system gets out of balance. And so um, yeah, it's good to have a product that doesn't do that. Uh, also aids in the proper elimination. So again, it's, it works with the liver and it works with the, the way the system, the bladder and the kidney. So um, yeah, again, you can see a common theme here. It almost is as common theme as my talks. Get the digestion, get the liver working, everything falls into place. It's got coronium. We know the power of coronium because <clears throat> it's in our sweeties, of course. Uh, and coronium, uh, of course, we prefer to have it with the vanadium, but coronium and vanadium are brothers and sisters. Um, but if you're bringing it part of your healthy start pack, of course, you have uh, vanadium in that. Uh, so it helps pre um, prevent and lower blood pressure. So it's a good blood pressure product. Uh, helps prevent sugar cravings and sudden drop in energy. 
helps in carbohydration utilization. Um, then we go with uh, Garcinia. And Garcinia was for a wee while a bit of a fad herb people used for, um, for weight loss because it really helps suppress one's appetite, but it's really hard on the kidneys if you have it on its own. Anything's hard on, on the body if you have it on its own and too much of it. And so yes, it got a bit of a bad rap, but young Jimmy's always had it as a blend. It's been, so it has its cofactors to help it work properly in the body. Um, and it's a great product for suppressing that appetite. It's one of those ingredients which is in the, uh, the body trim, uh, which helps curb that, that afternoon hunger. So instead of reaching uh, for that pie or that donut or that, that muffin at two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, because your lunch is already worn off, okay? Reach for one of these or a BTT, uh, not BTT, uh, body trim. Uh, psyllium husk, a um, bit like slippery elm, that's a great fiber. Um, they call it a colon broom, because um, like any of these, these um, husky types of products, they're, they're very coarse and they'll help strip toxins and um, waste through your colon. As a gagai gum, uh, helps create a feeling of fullness, uh, a great source of fiber, again, another great fiber. A hibiscus flower gener uh, generates energy uh, that helps the body heal. The cascara helps, it's a bladder one, we use it in, in herbal medicines again, so it helps with constipation, gallbladder and stones, etc. Uh, a great one working on that, um, that lower liver and, and gallbladder scenario. Citrus, um, we all know that citrus helps, um, keeps things loose, so it helps loosen the stool. Licorice root, um, so licorice, I suppose it's there also to add for flavor, but um, um, licorice is, works with the, um, um, the lymphatic system, I'm trying to think of what is there. Um, so it really helps, um, you know, boost that energy, helps get things going properly. The, the, only, the, the only drawback when it comes to licorice, and when you have too much of it at once, of course, uh, licorice is contra-interactive contra in high blood pressure. You wouldn't want too much licorice if you have high blood pressure. Papaya fruit, uh, a de depressant for the central nervous system, so it helps calm and relax. And of course, it's an enzyme, so it's helping with the breakdown of food, uh, just like kiwi fruit does. It helps normalize the colon. Burdock root, a powerful blood purifier. We talked about that earlier. Helps the, the liver break down excess hormones. <clears throat> and last but not least, um, one of the star natural product ranges is a product called TMR, or it means um, total meal replacement. So uh, there's, comes with a, there's a whole system behind this. There are recipes, et cetera, if you go digging in your back office for longevity or ask your upline or send an email to me, we'll send you more information on it. There is a brochure available. This is the uh, first page of that brochure uh, that you can use to uh, share your experience with the TMR. So TMR, total meal replacement, uh, is a natural meal replacement made from high quality ingredients like chia seed, egg white, um, I mean, in other words, um, aminogens, aminogens, insulin, and stevia for that sweetness, and uh, a Luhan go fruit, gooey fruit. Yeah, I was going to look that one up, but I ran out of time. I didn't actually know what it was. Um, no doubt, like a lot of these things, they use a lot of South American fruits for the, for the antioxidant effect. Um, so my, that's what I think it is what it is. So it's designed to uh, burn fat. So it worked well with that eat less uh, other product, wouldn't it? So it helps suppress that appetite, increases energy, and supports that healthy blood sugars. So there's no artificial sweeteners or flavors, no preservatives, no fructose or, or MSG, no gluten, no soy protein. And of course, this can replace one to two meals a day because it's a meal replacement, unlike a lot of the protein shakes, was just with, they're just proteins. This has a lot more to it. Uh, so um, TMR is different from other shakes in the market. Why? Because it has proteins. It has five different types of proteins that include slow, medium, and fast-release proteins. So this keeps you fuller longer.
So that's the problem with a lot of proteins. But just like carbohydrates, they can burn off very fast or they can burn off slow. So we need a balance of things. So Star Natural TMR Shake has helped numerous people improve blood sugar levels, those wanting to lose weight, and of course, those people who just want to stay healthy. So again, if you just, it's not about losing weight, you just want to maintain where you're at, you want maintain the weight you're at, okay? And um, you're just wanting something just different, then this is a great replacement for those meals. Now we're going to be talking about the essential oils of the month. Um, and this month we've got all three girls. We've got Sally, Karen, and our lovely Sam to share their experience, their knowledge on our oils of the month, of which is lavender, frankincense and lavender. We're talking about rose and we've got red mandarin. So without uh, further ado, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. So I am my first oil. I'm going to talk to you about frankincense and lavender. But first of all, before I go into the talk, I just thought actually um, I would let you know that the three oils that we have this month, the rose oil of frankincense, lavender and the red mandarin, are a very, very good price. Um, for example, what the one I'm going to talk about now, frankincense and lavender, is $56 on its own. The one Sally's going to talk about is $53 on its own. And then the one that Sam's going to talk about is $18 because it's a roller bottle. So a total of $128 is what it would cost you if you bought those three oils um, separately. But uh, if you get it through the Roma Share in Australia, you're paying $65 plus GST. Um, I didn't have time to look up to see what the um, New Zealand version is, so maybe Sam or Sam, Sam or um, Sally can tell us um, when they come on what the uh, Roma Share is for New Zealand. But $65 for $128 worth of oils, um, that is just, um, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so let's talk about frankincense and lavender oil, um, blend oils. So they are a blend, okay? And um, because I don't even have a printer myself, I've got to read off thing. So these two oils on their own do wonderful things, wonderful similar things actually when it comes to skin and that. But when you put them together, they make a powerful duo. They um, Together they support the nervous, the respiratory and the ingumentary systems. And in case you're wondering what that is, I'll just quickly let you know what the ingramendary system is. It's the, um, it's the largest of the body's organ systems and it's made up of the skin and, is associ and, and its associated appendages. I didn't look that up. The, the intermendary system distinguishes, separates and protects the organisms from its surroundings, but also plays a key metabolic function as the major region um, for vitamin D production. Okay, so that's what that is. And the key emotions for this oil is confident, comforting, strength, um, hopeful and supportive. The, um, this oil is great for healing skin, especially scar tissue formation. Anything to do with the skin is, um, is just absolutely fabulous. Um, we've had lots of testimonies about the skin, like getting, um, it's really great for getting rid of burns. Um, also, there was a lady on Leanne's show um, that said it got rid of her mole. She had a mole that appeared on her face. And after two weeks of putting frankincense and lavender oil blend on, it, uh, the mole went away, apparently. So, yeah. Um, it's an, also an um, excellent for emotional support when dealing with anxiety, trauma, depression and grief. It's an antibacterial oil. And obviously the two ingredients are frankincense. And the lavender is a French lavender vera. And I'm just going to quickly go through with you. Frankincense, if you want to know what a frankincense tree looks like, here's a picture of one here and there's the leaf um, there, what the leaf looks like. It's um, highly desired by most people. Um, any of the qualities of this oil are strengthening the respiratory system, rejuvenating the skin and being anti-tumoral. It has the unique ability to pass uh, the blood-brain barrier, 
participating in both physical and emotional properties. And frankincense is hugely benefit, um, beneficial for strengthening the immune system, which is good. Now the lavender, as I said, it's a, um, it's a French lavender vera and it's grown at higher altitudes and it's distilled at lower temperatures um, than other lavenders, um, all the other lavenders that are around. Um, the, uh, this vera type is also called the true um, or fine lavender and it has uh, a slightly higher ester content, making it an excellent choice for, for skin and hair care. Um, and it, out of all the lavender species, this one has the highest linalool content. And I quickly looked up that so you know what linalool, linalool is. It's actually a compound found in many flowers and spice plants, and they use it for, um, for fragrances and, and things like um, deodorants and shampoos and perfumes. But this has naturally has that. In, in this lavender. So um, it provides a sweet, fresh aroma and stress reducing effect. And a recent study in Japan noted that there were changes in expression of over 100 genes related to stress response after an inhalation of um, just this particular um, lavender. And it's also been the subject of anti cancer studies. Now, um, frankincense in lavender, how can we use it? So First of all, you can soak in the tub with it, with your dead sea salt, so you can put it with powdered milk, and then uh, use one ounce in your bath daily, or whenever you want one. You can put it on with a roller bottle, um, and put it in with a carrier oil, and you can apply it to the bottom of your feet, or the back of your neck, or you can actually apply it on anything you might have on your face, like a mole, or um, uh, because it's anti-aging as well, you can put it on your wrinkles, and it's something, this is something that you would do at night before you go to bed, whether it's on your face, your neck or your feet, um, that's a good time to put it on. Um, you can also rub it in, um, mix with a carrier oil or Longevity CM cream, and you can massage it in, um, into an area that uh, might need a relieving. And last of all, we can diffuse, <laughs> diffuse it, especially if you uh, uh, get, get depression, anxiety, grief, um, just a few uh, 10 to 12 drops, 15 minute intervals every uh, two hours during the day to, just to help ease that anxiety. You can also um, carry it around in a necklace if you get anxiety if you go out and then you can just be able to sniff it. And once again, like I said last month, um, as cats have very sensitive skin, um, oils shouldn't really be used around animals, so we make sure they're out of the room. Dogs are okay with this one. Um, but not cats. And when it comes to our elderly, fragile and the children and infants, um, even though this is a safe and non-toxic non for use, we would still need to apply um, the dilution rate with these um, types of people, about a half a dilution, 0.5%. And like I said last week, last month again, medication, not all oils are safe when you're on medication. Just, so just use that two hour window before medication and two hour window after your medication. So yeah, just don't take it immediately or with your uh, medication. And we have a all purpose antibacterial spray for those that are interested by just by using this oil blend. And you just add um, some pure water and a fine um, a teaspoon of fine table salt, making sure that your bottle is um, essential oil plastic proof. And then you just put it all together. If anyone wants this, I won't go through the recipe, but if anyone wants that, we can definitely um, show it to you. Um, but yeah, and you can spray it on your tops. It's an antibacterial wipe as well. Or it's great for when it, because of pets, we're supposed to be doing pets in there. Um, it's great for cleaning um, cages and pens for small pets and, and litter boxes. And But if you're doing cats, you don't put it in the granules. You're supposed to put it underneath. And, um, yeah, and it says that it's uh, let, the, um, let the room air out before returning people or pets. If it's quite strong, otherwise that's the elderly and that, but not as normal people. You know, that aren't frail or babies or cats. And last of all, as an added caution, we can have too much oil um, on us per day, but I really don't think a lot of us um, do use, um, do go over the limit. 
But if you are one of those people that does use a lot of oils, then um, it can eventually affect your liver. So just make sure you are using it with a 90 for life to get rid of those toxins. So that's me with frankincense and lavender. Right, and I'm going to now pass you to Sally, who will talk about the rose oil. <clears throat> All right, tonight I am talking about rose. I think I got lucky and got the best one. Um, <clears throat> rose is quite special. Um, now, how many rose petals? Is it, it takes something like a ton of rose petals to make a 10 ml bottle of pure rose oil. So it's quite expensive to have it um, as a pure rose oil, which is why you'll find ours is rose 10, rose 10 percent, which means there's 10 percent essential oil in, in, um, in, in your hova oil, um, simply because it's just so expensive. Anyway, um, so this aromatic oil has been used for hundreds of years for its attractive scent and may help support a healthy nervous system. Rose is said to be the ultimate oil for stress and depression because of its ability to encourage the production and release of dopamine. Rose and geranium should not be confused. They are not related. Rose has been used in perfumes for its lovely scent for hundreds of years. Um, like I was saying, uh, pure rose essential oil is, is extremely rare and valuable. For rose, 10% pure rose oil has been added to a base of Jehovah at 10% dilution in keeping with the industry standard to make it more affordable. Emotionally, rose is the highest frequency essential oil for the nervous system. Uh, the key emotions with rose is it um, promotes unconditional love, uh, treasured, forgive, forgiveness, embraced and inspired um, which is important especially uh, at this point in time I think um, all three essential oils that we've um, we, that we're talking about tonight they're all all about uh, being open being relaxed and helping with um, depression and stress as well that seems to be a, an underlying um, thread that's that's going through them all which makes them perfect um, at this point in time, I think, for a lot. Uh, well, also, what makes rose so special is that it has absolutely no safety precautions. It is so gentle. Tried and true uses have been to uh, inhale, inhale to receive relief from depression, balancing the mind, easing stress, calming the nerves and comforting grief, grief and sorrow. An excellent woman's oil when used in massage or inhaled due to its calming and regulated, regulating effects on hormones, regulating menstruation, relieves PMS and reducing side effects of menopause and it also strengthens the uterus. It's often used in the delivery room, apply a drop to the lower abdomen, inner thighs and lower back to provide a safe space for a new delivery. It's remarkable for all skin types to moisturize, hydrate, and rejuvenate your skin. Its fragrance can be overwhelming if undiluted, or if you use more than a drop for most applications. It's helpful for both men and women to overcome impotence or frigidity. It has lots and lots of properties. I think all essential oils, or every essential oil has um, an antibacterial Bacterial aspect, so all in, all essential oils will destroy or inhibit the growth of destructive bacteria. Uh, as we've also, also already talked about, it's antidepressant. It's also antifungal, um, and it's anti-inflammatory, which I think a lot of essential oils also um, have that in common too. It's antiviral, aphrodisiac, astringent. That means it tightens tissue and reduces oil or secretions. Um, it's choleretic, so it stimulates bile production. That's to do with liver and digestion. It promotes wound and scar healing. It's depurative, which means it cleans, cleanses and purifies the blood and internal organs. Um, it's an amenagogue, so that means it helps re regulate menstruation. It's hepatic, which means it's supportive to the liver. It also relieves constipation. It's also sedatives, so it um, tranquilizes activity of body part. And last but not least, it's a tonic, particularly to the heart, stomach, liver, uterus. It's got a lot going on. The key body systems it has are the nervous, circulatory, reproductive, digestive. It helps your body. 
And last but not least, um, we've got a, um, a thing to make. So it's called rosy powder. And the ingredients is you take a 100 ml shaker bottle and then 100 grams of organic non-GMO cornstarch or betonite clay in, or half of each. You put one drop, one drop of Longevity Rose essential oil and, um, and basically shake it all together. You, you open it up, add the remaining course, so you put in half and you put one drop in and then you shake it up and then you, you, you um, add the remaining cornstarch corn or powder, whichever you're using. You replace the lid and shake it well again. And then you can use for yourself and furry friends, such as on the bottom of your little friend's cage or cat litter box to make it smell nice and to relax them. Um, it says not to mix in with kitty litter or wood shavings. Lightly sprinkle on the bottom of the tray and add litter shavings. So I thought that was kind of cute. Well, that's kind of my talk for tonight. Um, next, we've got Sam. And she is talking about Mandarin. Thanks, okay. Sally. Thank you. Okay, yes, I'm talking about Red Mandarin tonight. Red Mandarin. Now, most people know it, um, you buy in the shop the orange Mandarin. I didn't know that it comes in green and red. And a red Mandarin looks like this. And the reason it goes like that is because they've left it on the tree a little bit longer. And it's for the properties that are inside uh, the red mandarin, which is what we're going to talk about tonight. So um, the orange and green and red are all come from the same um, tree. It's just that they're picked at different times for their properties. Uh, red mandarin is safe for children and anyone having muscle spasmodic issues or seizures like you might get the cramp um, just smelling this is really good it helps calm calm down um, that muscle spasm um, in the leg and the muscle spasm comes from an internal nutritional issue who knew so applying the red mandarin to the area like in your legs just and rubbing it will calm that can calm that muscle uh, down. It's also very good, um, the rebandrum for insomnia, nervous tension, and the state of agitation. So a lot of times people can't sleep during the night uh, because their mind's going flat out. So just having a, a smell of the um, rebandrum and rolling it on the bottom of your feet will, will well, can help to calm down um, that anxiety that you've got. Now, um, also, it's great as for a child um, when they're um, agitated, you could put them in a bath, diffuse with, uh, diffuse in the air, helps relax all ages really, and it's really good for parents at bedtime for children to calm them down so they'll go to sleep. Um, and also for pregnant women. It's excellent for the relief of um, muscle spasms in either in your back or in the legs. Um, rubbing on your stomach helps relieve indigestion, flatulence, constipation, uh, stomach aches, especially in children. You know how sometimes kids say, oh, I've got a sore tummy. So rubbing this on their tummy and then rubbing it in will um, make them feel better. Smells good too. It's got that kind of tangerine, um, yeah, is that orangey smell. Really quite nice. Um, and it's safe to use while you're pregnant. And if you're pregnant, it also reduces anxiety. It blends well with bay laurel, lavender, and grapefruit. Um, it is really good as the properties are, it's analgesic, so it relieves pain. It's an antidepressant, so it'll alleviate depression. It's an analgesic, which means it relieves um, pain again. Um, it's antioxidant, so it protects the cells from damage. I need lots of that around the old face here with wrinkles. Uh, it's carminative, which my, my two aroma share sisters talked about, it relieves intestinal gas pain. It's good for the digestive, it aids in the balance of the digestion. It can be a laxative, so it relieves constipation. Um, 
a sedative tranquilizes the activity of the body part and good as a toner. So yes, good on the old wrinkles here on the face, supporting, strengthening skin and digestion. Its key emotions are purifying, joyous, giving and enlightened. And it affects the key body systems, which are the muscular, digestive, lymphatic, nervous and urinary. And it's a great oil to use for all ages and pregnant women. There is a safety note though. The safety note for this is that it is mildly phototoxic. So for those with pale or sensitive skin, be very careful using this when you go out in the sun. And it's non-toxic and non-irritating. And I will leave it at there, that tonight. Um, and I'll hand back to Kevin. Thank you. Oh, that's excellent. Such, such a, uh, that was very informative, as I said earlier. And um, I think I learned something about oranges today. I actually thought red mandarin was actually um, a different fruit. I didn't realize it was just a, a ripe orange. The oranges we have here don't go like that. They just go rotten and then can't eat them. Yeah. So it'll be interesting what they taste like. You do see those in the shops um, like that. So maybe, uh, yeah. So um, that brings our show to Thanks cool. once, once again for coming along today. That's really much appreciated. Appreciate your support. And uh, keep up the good work, sharing Dr. Wallach's message. Keep the crusade alive. Cheers for now. Bye. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Thanks Kevin, you guys. Bye. 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 See you.